few exercises that we went over yesterday and we'll jump right in. The most important exercise that we go over is a relaxation protocol. Um, helps your dog to calm down, not be too anxious or excited if you take your pup out to a dog friendly hotel um, or you want to take Ruger on a uh, plane ride. Um, basically anytime that he gets too excited so that's great. It's actually exactly what we're looking for. Initially, he just gets used to the mat being where the good stuff happens. And then, very good. We're looking for him to go into an SIT and then a DOWN. Um, when we're working on this exercise. We actually never um, God, give Ruger any commands. And that's what this makes such that makes this such a impactful exercise is the fact that he has to work through this 100% on his own. And so every time that he does something that's additionally more relaxed, then he gets a treat. Good. So right now he's in the phase where he is dipping his nose down towards the ground. And uh, the final phase is just where he is uh, resting and um, completely lying his head down. At that point, then you're just looking for additional time with his head down. Good. And um, a great way to explain this is just that this gives him emotional intelligence. Um, so anytime that he sees anything that gets him super excited or super stressed out, he realizes that he can uh, calm himself down and relax himself. Um, basically, dogs, their consciousness works in the opposite way as humans' consciousness does perfect. In that, if we see something, we immediately think through our minds, uh, how do we respond or react to this, and then our body feels it, and we may tense up. Um, and then we go into fight or flight. But with dogs, they will immediately start to feel um, stress or anxiety in their body, and then it tells them to react immediately. And so this exercise is basically allowing him to be able to calm himself down and relax himself. Good.